Hey, today, right now, I want to talk to you about brands, about image, being, feeling, marketing. It's about you. It's about starting strong, because here we are to start strong. But it's also about finishing strong, um, being true to yourself. So I want you to take everything that kind of makes you you, both home with your friends and family, and also kind of in that dream version of where you want to be as a, as a, as a career employee, and put that all together. Because guess what? You're in a day and age and world where you can't separate personal from professional anymore. So you might as well own it. You might as well have your brand be you at home, at work, so you can put together all the things that make you smart and talented and work hard and market that into the image of everything you want to be. So what is the first step? You need to know yourself and you need to define your brand. That's a matter of thinking where you want to be, who you want to be, what you want to be perceived as. Um, I got to say, I was probably a too energetic kid, so I became a too energetic employee. Um, it's about who I am. I've chosen jobs and education fields and everything where I can kind of be uh, loud and energetic and, and help drive that process. And I've made it, instead of fighting it, be who I am. It doesn't mean I'd be a very good uh, novelist sitting in a corner writing all day, but I've accepted uh, being a part of what it means to uh, share the United States of America to folks like you. That may not be your brand, but it might be. So embrace it. You choose. It has to be something that means something to you. So if you don't start out right away knowing, thinking, and feeling what your brand is, you might take a little bit longer than you should to get there. But heck, even if you take years, once you find it, you'll know it and you'll own it. Values. You hear a lot about values. We talk about them as a big government. We talk about them as institutions, as families. And for you personally, you're going to want to figure out what values mean something to you. Because being good at work, being good at school, heck, being good at the internship or summer camp you may be working at is more than just goals and achieving them, um, although that's really important, as you probably found out elsewhere. Um, what does it mean? What, 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 val what value do you bring to it? And what means something to you? Because um, if you go against something that hurts your sense of value or what you bring or your sense of trust, um, no, no goal, no, no big project, no matter how timely or how brilliant you are, can overcome that, that loss of what it means to hold to the values that make you, you, and your organization what it is. So let's put that together. Because step three is critical. You need to find winning relationships, supporters, mentors, people who want you specifically because of who you bring, who your brand is, and not just because of your test scores or who you know. You want to be in and around folks who at least don't interfere with this brand and the sense of values that you're bringing. And yeah, maybe that makes, means you make some tough decisions. Um, but that's part of growing up, being an adult, and defining who you are, because it's, it's up to you. You, you. you start out with the friends, family, social, contextual situation that you get, but you define it from there. And supporters. People love to support each other. People love to mentor each other. And it's something you can ask for. It's something you can be a part of um, without worrying too much about it. I know I struggle with this because I like to do everything on my own. And I thought, you know, no one really wants to support mentor me, but they do. The thing is, people are defined up and down by the people they bring up with them, by the people who help bring them up. And they form a, a coalition of people that they can take pride in and that they can work with, sometimes over entire careers, and sometimes jumping different fields and careers as well. It could be someone who knows you or sees your brand or sees the values that you represent at a side angle, steps in and is able to jump in and make sure that you redirect into a different type of career field or give you that out of nowhere support in a resume that makes just the right set of difference. Step four is putting that all together, people, values, 
your de defining brand into something that is a package of you as your reputation. Perception does become reality. If you don't think it, feel it, and care about the details in the package, then your brand may not be perceived and it may not be the reality that you want. Visual identity is important. The point is people are picking up on visual clues, on little things. Um, for me, it was important that you step into an area or something and someone says, that guy's going to be a little different because I want that to be part of my brand. Um, it may not be exactly the thing you want, but it's something to think about. The exact opposite could apply. You could be in a world in which uh, you want a very particular uh, business or maybe even not business image. So the final step in bringing this all together is securing trust. Trust, accountability, totality. You can make mistakes along the way. You certainly can make work mistakes uh, because almost always someone is there to, to fix it and if you're able to catch it yourself, all the better. The, the mistakes you never want to make or you take a lot of time to fix it um, are mistakes that affect uh, your accountability. You need to be trusted. And honestly, this is not as hard as it sounds. But start now. The younger the better, the more perceptive the better. Your trust in you and your brand is key. You can make all kinds of mistakes. You can even be late on a deadline. You can flub up something that may even cost a business deal or something like that. But you've got to do it right. You've got to be accountable. You've got to own up to things that make sense, that, that, that if, you, if you make a mistake, you own it and you fix it. And then the perception of you and your brand might not be, oh, this guy messed up our business deal. The thing just might be, wow, he found it, fixed it, and we ended up having more faith in him and his brand, even despite the small blemish, than not doing that same thing and having it turn out that someone couldn't trust you to finish something. I want you to think about this right now and get excited because wherever you are in the, in the course of your career and just knowing who you are, your, that personal brand is just as important as the professional brand you want. Um, and guess what? Um, if you're like everybody else uh, around us right now, you've got uh, some type of some type of phone, a computer, or device that connects you and maybe connects you too frequently to the world around you. Good advice as general is always be nice online. Well, actually, always be nice in general because that's a good part of a brand or a value. So think about this. Think about your brand. Um, think about these steps along the way that we talked about today. And uh, I bet you won't just get what you want. You'll feel better about it. and You'll feel better about yourself. And there's nothing better than that. Thank you.